Till noon, then we'll hand it off to D-Lo and KC. Uh, look, if we're going to blame Kyle Shanahan for Brock Purdy's performance yesterday mm -hmm. and say that it's all Kyle Shanahan's fault and it's because he tells Brock where to throw it, which is not, that is, that is not true. Brock Purdy has to read the entire field. Um, and all this and all this other stuff. Then you also have to credit him for how well Brock Purdy has played as the final pick in the draft since he got under center in week 12 of the 2022 season. He's been awesome. Mm -hmm. Flat out. He was an MVP candidate last year in his first full season as a starter. I don't, I, I don't, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, he had, he had a really, really bad game yesterday. And if now all of a sudden it's Kyle Shanahan can't coach, I'm sorry. I can't get there. Kyle Shanahan got Jimmy freaking Garoppolo. He elevated Jimmy Garoppolo's play to allow him to get and get to allow him and the 49ers to get to the Super Bowl with Jimmy freaking Garoppolo who couldn't hack it as a Raider starter and is now a backup for the Rams. I don't believe I, I personally don't believe it's on a coach to quote unquote develop a quarterback. I don't. That is not that is that is not what this is. No, I think for me, the coach you said to one thing earlier, but I'm I'm also going to add this to it. When you said earlier that as soon as Kyle Shanahan loses the locker room, mm -hmm. that's the time he has to go. Yeah, right. That's when I'll so, be out. So look, I, I've covered an NBA team that switches toilet paper like, you know, I don't know. Switches coaches like toilet paper? Switches coaches like toilet. Yeah, like you switch toilet paper rules. I'm sorry. They switch okay. coaches like, <laughs> like they go through coaches so fast. You know, again, this is my 15th season. Through my 12th season, mm -hmm. I'd covered nine different head coaches. Mm -hmm. so, so, look, many of those head coaches lost the locker room. Mm -hmm. Some of them did not and did not deserve to be fired. Mm -hmm. Some of them just proved it like at the end of the day that their team wasn't going to win and they had to go. Mm -hmm. Right. So Kyle Shanahan has none of that has happened, happened at all. And not so in my opinion, there does come a point where if he can get you to the big game, but he can't win it, mm -hmm. you always have to look at that. But then you have to say, OK, but who else is out there that has one that can get me over the hump? And, right. and you know, mm -hmm. like, I don't think Bill Belichick's walking through that door. I think he would love to, but I don't think <laughs> the 49ers are calling for him no. to walk through that door and no. take over as a head coach. They're definitely not. Then the other thing is about is about like whether he's calling the plays for him or or whether, you know, the the biggest thing for a coach is to put a player in a position to succeed. Yes. That's it. Yes. And so players have to play. Is there a point this season where, again, the numbers back up that maybe Brock Purdy isn't rolling out enough? But mm -hmm. but you went back and looked, and it was like two games. It's just play action, yeah, just yeah, fake handoffs. So like there there needs to be a point where, you know, realistically, Kyle Shanahan does a better job of putting Brock Purdy in positions where he can he can succeed. The other thing that Brock Purdy needs to do is take full ownership. So as opposed to throwing the ball into double coverage at the five yard line and turning the ball over in the red zone again. Um, he has to either, if the play is bad, he needs to check down. He needs to audible. He needs to do whatever it is that gives himself the best op, uh, like percentage to succeed. And there is a point where a coach has to put faith in a quarterback and allow him to grow and develop and be mm -hmm. the guy who makes the split decision looks at the line, knows exactly what it is that he's looking at and has mm -hmm. to say, okay, I need you to go here, you to go here. We need to change this thing up right now, Yeah, right? And so I think Brock is there. I just think that there's this moment where he's teetering on, he hasn't quite become great. Yes. He's really good, but he hasn't quite become great and he's struggling to find the way to get to greatness. Yeah. And it does not help that he doesn't have a superstar running back that catches 60 or 70 or 80 balls out of the backfield. Yeah, but lots of, lots of quarterbacks don't. No, no, I, I get you. But lots of teams, most teams that, that don't have that, they knew it coming in that they sure. weren't going to have that. Sure. And, and they like a quarter of the 49ers playbook is gone because McCaffrey's yeah. not there. Yeah, that's it. I'm like there, there's a huge percentage of their playbook that just isn't the mm -hmm. same. And it's, I think, why we're seeing the red, the red zone issues this year mm -hmm. with this team. Um, sure. Yeah, I mean, there's only so many times again that you can run Mason up the middle, mm -hmm. and, and think that you're going to get the necessary yards. And yeah, the it, one yard line, he's going to score that if you hand it to him. 
but overall i think that there is like a lack of creativity in the end in the last 10 yards whatever it is and a lot of that comes down to McCaffrey being gone and a lot of it does come down to the fact that that Shanahan is too conservative and then the the third thing is Brock Purdy just has to be better Yes. Okay. So that's I, I I agree with you on all the Kyle Shanahan critiques you just had. Yeah. To, I I yes. Right there with you. What I can't get behind. I, I asked the chatty house and shout out to the chatty house. A lot of really good thoughts on this. But I I asked that I said what has Andy Reid done that has caused Patrick Mahomes to develop? And somebody said lets him be himself. It's like yes, exactly. Patrick Mahomes is unbelievably talented. Yep. He is leaps and bounds more talented physically than Brock Purdy. Mm-hmm. Like that is just that that's that's what it is. Just from an arm strength perspective, from a way he sees the field perspective, all of that stuff. The, Brock Purdy, you want to talk development? He is throwing the ball downfield more than any quarterback in the league this year going into last week. Like the offense had changed pretty dramatically to lean on Brock Purdy and he was answering the call. Like you want to talk about development? Brock Purdy was putting up career best numbers. With throwing the ball down the field, doing doing more things than than just managing the game. Mm-hmm. Like you want to talk development? That's development, dude. Oh no! I, and did was he I bad? Was he awful yesterday? A th- yes. Did Josh Allen, who's been outstanding this year, not yeah. shading Josh Allen. Josh Allen had a game where he went nine for thirty one earlier this year. Like sometimes quarterbacks have bad games. This is not this one bad game against arguably the best defense in the league, a top three defense in the league. And, and a great defensive coordinator is not a referendum on Kyle Shanahan's ability to develop Brock Purdy. Yeah. Like, it's just not, dog. It, it, he's been he's been really, really good this year, Brock Purdy has, through injury issues, through not having Christian McCaffrey, and have the 49ers handled that perfectly? No. And if you want to critique Kyle Shanahan and that, I am with you. Like, let's do that. Let's talk fourth down decisions. Let's talk two-point decisions. Let's talk red zone play calling. Let's talk play calling in general. I'm with you. Like, let's ride. But if you want to say that Brock Purdy's not developing, he is. Like, we're watching it happen this year. Mm-hmm. He was awful yesterday. But I don't think it's because he went, okay, I'm supposed to throw it to Chris Conley on this play, and he's double covered. Okay, I'm going to let it rip because that's what Kyle wants. It's not. I promise you. Yeah. It's not that simple. It is not that simple. Brock Purdy is a different quarterback now, a better quarterback, I would wager, now than he was last year. And I think there are some things missing. I don't think he trusts Jordan Mason on checkdowns. There was a play early in the game that I that I wrote down in my notes where Purdy is in the pocket and Jordan Mason is crossing his face with a little bit of room to run. And instead of checking that ball down like he probably would have to Christian McCaffrey, Purdy takes off mm. and does not. And, and he got two yards instead of however many he would have gotten on the check down to Mason. I think he has missed some of those throws. But that to me, I don't think that's a Kyle Shanahan thing. I don't it, it, you you said it at the at, at, at the top of the segment like players play. Players have to execute. Mm-hmm. And it is not a matter. This is not This is not Sean McVay with Jared Goff, where up until 15 seconds, he's telling him what, what to do and here's what the defense is doing and this and that. They're hustling to the line so they can have maximum time for the coach to look at the defense. This is not that. Brock is making a ton of plays out of structure this year. Out of structure. And it's not like he's getting benched for it. It's not like he's getting reprimanded for it. Yeah. He's like, so I don't, <laughs> I, I get that he was god awful yesterday, and I get that the vibes are really bad at the 49ers right now. I do. But if you want to use yesterday as a, oh, hey, see, all the other good work that Kyle Shanahan did with Brock Purdy, all of that is now a race. See, he can't develop quarterbacks. What? Yeah. I'm as overreactionary as anybody. You want to overreact to something, I'm down. I am there. I am not, I am not, I, 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 did Kyle Shanahan coach a bad game yesterday? Yeah, probably. Yeah, he did. In fact, I'm not even going to say probably. Remove that. He did. Okay. Is he good at fourth down decisions? Terrible. Has his red zone play calling been good this year? No, ab- abominable. But I'm not blaming him because Brock Purdy had a bad game against a really good defense and a really good defensive coordinator. I'm not. I, I If you would like to, by all means, go for it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting there, man. I'm not. No, I'm with you, and I would point out, too, we joke around about the Gardner Minshew thing. Like, Brock Purdy is a much better quarterback than Gardner Minshew. Not even close. Like, the fact that they had similar stats this weekend, like, that we're just, we're being facetious. Like, this is this is still a really good team. It's a team that's lost its way, mm-hmm. that has incredible injuries. 
I mean, you just basically lost your two star receivers. And oh, by the way, your third wide receiver was already hurt. And you had to run a guy out there who got shot seven weeks ago, six weeks ago. And another guy that is a rookie that had, there was one possession where you had Ricky Pearsall and, and cowing catch their first NFL passes. And that's where you were in the game. And oh, by the way, you have the best running back in football who has not played in seven weeks. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there are reasons like these aren't excuses why the Niners aren't, aren't finding success. Their defense is not nearly as good as it was before. No. One of the reasons is because Dre Greenlaw isn't there. Yeah. Like I'm not going to make excuses for what the safeties are doing. I'm I'm not, and I'm not going to make excuses for the fact that you didn't load up on your defensive line in the proper way. And you're the middle of your defensive line is nowhere as good as they were before. Although, Hey, they've been great against the run. They've been able to, Mm -hmm. they just can't get to the quarterback like they should be. Mm -hmm. Right. So, but, like there are reasons that your team is struggling or the 49ers mm-hmm. are struggling. And there are also, I'm not going to make excuses for them. Like, again, you have no. to be better. If you're Shanahan, you have to be better. If you're Brock Party, you cannot, yep. cannot throw those lollipop balls like down the sideline. The, the oh, Ronnie God. bell interception was so bad. The decision at the five yard line to, and threw it into the end zone. So bad, really bad. And, and there's been a handful of them. Mm-hmm. And, and so we keep pointing them out, but like, look at, at the end of the day, this team does have some reasons why they are where they are. Yeah. So, and I think, I think you, you hit another critique I have of, of Kyle Shanahan is that ability to adapt in game. Yeah. We've seen several times throughout the years where Debo Samuel leaves the game and the 49ers just have nothing. Like he was a big part of the game plan and now it's, uh, he can't breathe in pre in, in pregame warmups yeah. all of a sudden. I don't, <laughs> Did you did you hear how Kyle Shanahan described the illness that no Debo Samuel had? Stand by. Let me let me go find it. I wasn't I wasn't prepared to do this, but they reported during the game that he came down with the illness during warmups. Hmm. And here's what here's what he said about Debo's illness. The question: Did Debo get the sickness this morning? Like, did he just come in feeling, yeah? This morning. Can you describe what? Was he just vomiting? Answer. Throat. Stomach things. Just real fatigued. Struggled to breathe. Couldn't catch his breath. And so he kept trying to fight through it. But once he was struggling with the breathing and everything, we had to shut him down. Yeah. Yeah. I have a guess at what that is. I'm not a doctor. Pretty sure I know what that is. Because I had it like a couple of weeks ago. (laughs) Just, just saying. Like, yeah. Like out of nowhere. Like, oh, I just thought that was. That was I don't funny. feel good at all. Like yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I wonder. I wonder what happened. Yeah. No. I know. I, I did but, a show. I went and got my hair cut. I got home and I'm like, felt horrible. Oh no. Yeah. I don't feel good anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> um. Yeah. I just thought when he was when he was saying that the press was like, hey. There's a name for that. <laughs> can, can you put a mask on him, please? <laughs> He's over there using the oxygen during the game. Like, hey, you got rid of that, right? We got rid of that mask. Yeah, yeah, that one got thrown yeah, away, right? I no one so. else used it afterwards. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> He's James Ham. I'm Kyle Madsen. We're the insiders uh, on ESPN 1320. We're sponsored by Jiffy Lube. If you would like to uh, call the program, hit us up on the Elk Grove Kia Talk line, 916 909 1320. That's 916-909-1320. But no, and that's where, just to kind of go back to what we talked about at the top of the show with Kyle Shanahan, I would love to see him. And, and in fact, I, I I really thought we did see um, points in in the second half after Brandon Ayuk went down where they did some creative things in the run game. Uh-huh. And they did some, they the fourth and one sneak with Brock Purdy where Kyle Juszczyk goes in motion and then they snap it and Juszczyk runs in behind him and pushes him. I thought that was great. Uh, the the QB sneak where he scored. thought that was great. Uh, there were a couple of things they did with motion that got Jordan Mason loose after he was really struggling. At one point, Kevin Burkhart said that, uh, Kevin Burkhart, the broadcaster for Fox, said the 49ers were getting hit in the backfield on 75% of their runs. Mm. Like, that's not going to cut it. That's not going to get it done. No, but they did. They made adjustments. Right, they, right, they, they yeah. figured out how to move the ball a little bit, and that's where, to me, this 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 falls on Brock Purdy because the the plays were there. The deep shot to Kittle should have been a touchdown. The deep shot to Jacob Cowing should have been a touchdown. Yeah. He didn't miss those throws. The, the interception in the end zone that came after the long completion to Cowing 
That should have been thrown away. That's got to go out the back of the end zone, dog. Like you're down nine. Yeah, field goal here works. You got to mm-hmm. get you got to get the onside kick and stuff, but it, field goal works here. Yeah. Um, I just it was not um, not super inspiring, man. Just a really tough game all around, but not to me, not yet anyway. I'm filing it away. People in the chatty house who disagree with me, like I said, I'm not I'm not with you yet. But you're over there. You guys in TC are over there hanging out. I respect it. Maybe I'll get over to that side. If they struggle again against Dallas the same way, let's have a real discussion. Mm-hmm. But this one game, I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going as far as Kyle Shanahan can't develop quarterbacks and Kyle Shanahan should be fired. I, I there's a gray area. There's a gray area between he's the best coach and he should be fired. I'm existing in the gray area. Yeah. He I'm is not you. the best coach. I'm with you. He should not be fired. I, I'm with so, both of those sentiments. Come, come wade around in this gray area with us. There's plenty of space. We're hanging out. I, I'd also say, like, look, this next week, it's it's a true test, right? The Cowboys yeah, are man. not nearly as bad as they have been this season. They coming at least, yeah, they're coming off a bye. Like, this is a team that can beat you. They're three and three. Yeah. They have a better record than you do. There's with the way the 49ers are playing right now. Mm-hmm. I don't know that there's a team in the league that when the 49ers play them, I'm like, W. The Patriots, probably. Um, oh, maybe you, the Panthers. You mean when the 49ers are playing them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm with you. That I feel, like, great about it. Um, but, They're just well, not playing good football right now. No, that's true, but I, I think that they would beat the Raiders. I think they would beat the New York Giants. I, I think that they would beat, um, just going through a list, they would beat the Tennessee Titans. They'd beat the Jags. Um, are we certain like, they'd beat the Jags? Well, maybe not. <laughs> I, I think they would beat the Jets. <laughs> they certainly, oh, they would beat the Browns. Like, Ooh. whoever the Browns are throwing out there, a quarterback. Yeah. Whew. 